At the penultimate round of the Dubai Open 2022, a very interesting game took place between Arjun Arigasi and Arvind Chidambaram. Now, Arjun had won the Abu Dhabi Masters before this and was unbeaten at the Dubai Open and was in very good form. We all know his live rating had crossed 27.35 at the time of this game. So, clearly he was the favourite with the white pieces. But Arvind has a huge sort of achievements to his name, many achievements. Uh, and so he can never be taken lightly. And as was shown in this game, the reason why I decided to uh, annotate this game or to analyze it is because there are some key moments here way from which you can learn a lot. So let's begin. E4, C5, Knight F3, E6 and D3 played by Arjun. Very interesting choice. It was his 19th birthday. And quite possible that he didn't want to prepare too much and just go for something like a surprise. Knight c6, g3, we have the king's Indian attack on the board, d5, knight bd2, knight f6, bishop g2, bishop e7, short castles, short castles, rook e1. So we are in the main line of this position. And here Arvind had prepared a line many, many years ago, as he mentioned in his interview, and it came to good use in this game so his plan was to take take and e5 and if you uh, show this position to any classical master of the past he would scoff and he would say that this is a bad decision by black because he weakens the d5 square tremendously but arjun uh, but arvind had analyzed it with an engine and it said that yeah it's playable so knight c4 was an excellent move by arjun first putting pressure on e5 pawn and uh, Arvind went queen c7. If Arvind would have taken the queen, rook takes and knight takes e4, then Arjun is better after knight f e5. And you can see how this beautiful bishop uh, puts a lot of pressure on black's position. So that's the reason why he went queen c7. Knight to e3, the point is to come to d5. So if you were to take here, knight d5 is just game over. So rook d8 was played and now knight came to d5 uh, here. <clears throat> Arvind very concretely took pawn takes and now came with bishop e6. So the bishop here cannot be taken as yet because then you lose the queen. It's possible but it's not sufficient compensation. So he went knight g5 and Arvind blitzed out bishop g5, bishop g5 and f6. So here I would like you to take a moment and think what is the move? You know, there are many possibilities on in the chess on the chessboard. And can you spot a very interesting possibility here for white, white to play? So uh, the move that was played in the game was bishop e3. And if Arjun got one more move here, that is c4, I think he would be doing really well. Unfortunately, Arvind himself goes c4 here and the position is now equal. That's the reason why here it is possible to play c4. Beautiful move. And after f takes g5, uh, you have to find this nice move, queen c1. So now these either of the two pieces will fall and also pressure on the g5 pawn. So here I one can say that white has a small edge. So this is something that uh, Ar Arjun could have played, but Arjun went bishop e3, c4. And uh, at this point, I think uh, Arjun decided to sacrifice his queen, which is quite an interesting decision. d takes e6, rook d1, rook d1. So you have a bishop and a rook for a queen, but also this pawn is very strong and you have the two powerful bishops here. So Arvind said that he was a little bit worried during the game. Uh, you have to find now the only move for black to stay in the game, black to play. Not so tough, but try to think. If you think what is the threat that black white has, then it's rook d7 here. So rook d8 is the correct move. Kudos if you found it. If you go directly rook e8, then after rook d7, queen a5, rook d1, already white is better. So rook d8 bishop c5 played and now he went rook e8 so key point 
and that is that if rook d7 now i have queen a5 hitting the rook and the bishop here that is the key point here we went c3 and arjun took uh, oh, sorry arvin took the pawn bishop d5 pinning queen c8 defending the rook and now he took on c4 king h8 and here arjun took on a7 and arvin saved his rook so in the post game analysis uh, in the interview Ar Arvin said that if Arjun had taken here, Queen takes, most likely the game would end in a draw. The position is around equal. And uh, this is a very interesting statement that was made by Arvin. And I tried to think the engines were saying that it's better for black. And I want to just show you another position here. So that you can have an idea of uh, this thing so this is a we'll come back to this position just notice it carefully and now notice this one what i have done essentially is i have changed the pawn from g3 to h3 like i put the pawn back to g2 and put the pawn this position is equal or even slightly better for white like white is the one who's pushing but in the game continuation here it's black who's going to push and the reason for it is because of the light square weaknesses there's no light squared bishop and guys like here imagine that white takes you can't take by the way because of check and it's a back rank issue but look at this what do you play here white black to play not at all tough but yes you can take the pawn on a2 that is possible but better is h5 and this is the point now you're threatening to take the bishop so let's imagine bishop e3 you go h4 and now with h3 queen here queen here this is going to be very difficult for white to hold so this is the small insight which i wanted to talk to you about that it seems like white is completely fine should be completely okay with these two rooks for a queen but with this idea it becomes very interesting and also let's say you don't take the pawn with h5 you meet it with h4 still it doesn't work because okay here you are losing queen takes a2 now imagine you played even better you play b3 h5 h4 so you stopped even here the main issue is that let's say after the queen moves away there will be f5 f4 and still the king will come under attack with the queen and the knight so taking all of this into consideration this is a better position for black so coming back here it feels like uh instead of taking the pawn on c4 arjun should have gone f4 threatening f5 so king h8 take take fe fe and now rook f1 and you will see that the position is no longer closed so this plan with h5 h4 uh, h4 won't be as strong and here white should be able to hold this Okay, bishop c4, king h8, bishop a7 played, Arvind saves his rook, bishop c5, and now a very cool move, black to play, what do you do? So there are two good moves here, one is h5, which is what we have been talking about, but he has a light squared bishop, so here that attack won't be as powerful, but e4 is the best move, it's clearing the e5 square for your knight to look at all these weak squares bishop f7 and here rook d8 was played even knight e5 was possible takes check king here take on e1 and black is doing very well so he played a uh, rook d8 bishop d5 queen g4 and now arjun should have gone rook d2 here and the position is around equal here <coughs> But he went bishop b3 and this gave him a decisive edge after take take now h5 was possible he went h6 i think uh, arvind didn't want to use his h pawn at all his plan was now very simple he wanted to get in with the knight so knight e5 rook d8 king here bishop f4 
93 back they repeated a couple of times and then a check king here check knight d3 the knight and queen duo attack beautifully so queen f3 king here now queen g2 is a mate so king here knight g2 threatening to take this bishop here e3 and the attack flows f5 Arjun had to give up, otherwise there's a mate on f2, there's a check, so king, queen f5, king g2, queen f2, check, e2, b7, and queen f8. He saved his pawn here, and next move he's queening. With this, uh, Arvind won the game, uh, and Arjun ha faced his first loss of the UAE trip, but uh, it was a very instructive game and those moments of uh, light squared weaknesses with h5 idea is what i wanted to discuss about i hope you found it interesting and a big congratulations to arvind who is clearly a player we should all look forward to today he's facing pragnananda their game is going on let's see who triumphs and becomes the dubai open champion this is sagar shah signing off bye bye